Leading now for the Blues, led out by Gavin Miller. They are just coming from their dressing room and they're about to start the walk down the tunnel onto the Sydney Football Stadium, which of course will give them the biggest state of origin crowd ever in this city. They'll walk out there and they'll see around about 35,000 people, I would imagine, with about 5,000 on the outside still waiting to get in with the game delayed just a couple of minutes to allow those patrons, if possible, to see the start of the match. Manager Peter Moore, Captain Gavin Miller, lead the procession down the tunnel as New South Wales are about to make their entrance in an endeavour to square up the series so that we go back to Lang Park in a fortnight for what is already a sellout, and it could be a decider. The crowd roars their approval as the Blues take the field. Let's have a look at their team after they've come down the tunnel. Big night for uh, Greg Alexander. Alexander the Great, they used to call him in schoolboy days. And now Wally Lewis takes the Maroons down the tunnel. Now they come, the State of Origin champions, there's no doubt about that. Wally Lewis, have a listen to the crowd booing Wally. Blue faces, blue jumpers, and it's the maroon jumpers that they wear so proudly and have really dominated this series since 1980. They've won it in 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 87, 88, and of course in 86. So a marvellous record from Queensland. They're out. Here's the New South Wales team coming up. Gary Jack at fullback, Ferguson on one wing, Ettinghausen, Daly, the centres, John's on the other flank. Mortimer and Alexander, the Penrith halves, Clyde at lock, Maguire and Miller second row, Kelly Dunn front row, Fennick as the hooker, and the coach is Jack Gibson. Queensland side, Belgium, McIndoe, Curry, Mal Manning, who had such a superb game at Lang Park, Michael Hancock, Wally Lewis, the captain, Alan Langer, Bob Linda, Miles, Bort, Bacco, Wallace and Bella, of course the coach is Arthur Beaton. The camera's taking you in closer now just to try and feel some of the tension that I guess is mainly on the New South Wales side as we stand by for the anthem. regional manager for Coles Supermarkets and these players will be putting him through the supermarket checkout in the first 15 minutes of this encounter I mean to tell you he'll have to send the penalties uh, New South Wales way earlier he will be very unpopular right New South Wales about to place the ball is Laurie Daly so rugby league fans wherever you're watching us fasten your seat belts bring your seats to the upright position as we take off for episode two in Mission Impossible, the second state of origin for 1989 is about to get underway. 19 years of age, Laurie Daly from the Canberra Club. About to get us going. Big kicker of the ball. He didn't let me down. 45 metres and uh, a bad mistake by Bobby Linda. In fact, the same player I do believe made a similar mistake in the early minutes of the match at Lang Park. So Queensland now, with the ball about 10 metres, 12 metres out from their own line, losing the ball, and it's going to be a scrum. It'll be a New South Wales feed, New South Wales loose head, and a golden opportunity in the first 60 seconds. Alexander coming around to service the scrum. Ball was lost by Alan McIndoe, New South Wales win it, 
Mortimer, a misunderstanding there with his centre daily. As it comes away to the right, and this is Bradley Clyde now. 12 metres away from the Queensland line. And plenty of venom in those tackles as Mario Fennec will testify. He faked the fall. It comes from Alexander and goes away for the uh, front row forward, Peter Kelly, in the headgear. As is Bruce Maguire, the Balmain second rower. Gavin Miller across the ground. Clyde was taken heavily by Meninga. That was a bone crusher. That's the last and up in the air goes the kick from Miller. But it's going. Oh, it landed in the, in the end goal. And Belcher forces the ball. Lewis is complaining. He's pointing over at the touch judge. Lewis is pointing frantically at the touch judge. But the referee has ruled a line dropout. We'll put pressure on this referee, Wally. I hope he helped this bloke's up to it. The kick by Lewis. 50 metres exactly to the Balmain fullback, Gary Jack. Current Australian fullback. Playing this match not only for the Blues, but playing to keep that green and gold jumper. Mario Fennec has tackled 25 metres out, right in the centre of the Sydney Football Stadium. Alexander, this is Miller, cuts out a ball of the player, goes to Daly, Daly up to the 22, pulled down and tackled by Big Gene Miles. Played back to Miller, a scamper out from Dummy Half, this is Alexander, away from Fennec, and going hard up the middle was Maguire. They're only about 20 metres out. They're in the middle of the park. Fennec turns it to Kelly. Kelly's tackled. 10 metres out on tackle number five. Peter Kelly, the Penrith prop, plays the ball back to Alexander. The grubber kick ahead. Fielded nicely by Hancock. And uh, he seemed to get some obstruction in goal. And he's making a long run. 45 metres later, he's grounded by Gary Jack. But he did seem to get obstruction in the end goal. Could have possibly been a little obstruction there, but he's a great stepper. That was a tremendous right foot step to get him to over that in goal area. And Kerrod Walters goes into dummy half as Queensland get uh, a feel of the leather after they squandered it in the early seconds of the game. They really haven't seen it since. And here they are now, 10 metres into New South Wales's area, played by Bacco. It's gone to Lang and now Lewis. A long ball out for Bobby Linda. Linda with a 22. They are a champion football side. We knew that when we came here. This was a further exhibition of it as Lewis has pulled out of the play. Linda back inside for Langer. The gaps became bigger. And then Belcher. I thought he may have passed a fraction early. It didn't turn out that way as Hancock goes in for another State of Origin try. Well, I believe the winger misread this. Daly went in on a, on a deep runner and uh, the ball was cut out and... Uh, the winger stayed out there and he should have followed Daly in. I think that try could have been killed off if uh, Johns had, a cut, had have come in and hit the man with the ball. But he was very wide and very, very deep. He was virtually out of the play. Well, already it's a case of panic stations for New South Wales with Queensland scoring the try just five minutes into the game and Queensland leading by four points to nil. Mal Meninga with the attempt at conversion from about 25 metres out. He scored 125 points in origin football. He's played 17 origin matches and has amassed 125 points. 28 years of age. Promotions and marketing is his profession for the Raiders and for Woodgers, their sponsors. There's the kick. Looked OK. Has it got the length? Oh, tell a man it has. It's a great kick. A superb kick by Meninga. Queensland 6, New South Wales 0. So the restart in play, and it's again... ...punched uh, shallower by Daly. They bring another mistake. Another mistake. This time from Big Sam Bacco. He had to go down low to pick up the kickoff from Daly. And Queensland have coughed up possession again. So New South Wales again get a marvellous opportunity. 
the feed and the loose head 15 metres from the Queensland line. Can they bring us level? Alexander services the ball for Mortimer. Ferguson came in from his wing. Daly goes to dummy half. They're 20 metres out as Daly makes some good ground, running on an angle. He takes play about 12 metres out from the line. Fennick. Maguire playing the ball. They're very close to the Queensland line. It's out with Kelly. Kelly with the head down, making a couple of metres before being forced back by Miles and Langer. Tackle counts. Oh, there's a knock on a dummy half there. Knock on from Paul Dunn. And so a scrum will go down, but Queensland should win. Well, the Blues, they made similar mistakes at Lang Park around that dummy half area. That's the first tonight. And from a New South Wales point of view, let's hope that they are not as frequent as they were in Brisbane. Queensland with the ball. Belcher comes into the back line to make the extra man. Jack is the tackler with Mortimer. Played back to Langer. Taking the ball away is Linda. Linda's about 20 metres out right in front of his own uprights. Head away now. Gerard Walters to Meninga. The big man took them on strongly. That's Paul Vorton floating it out to Lewis. They've got the numbers on the right. Belcher runs into a gap. Belcher went between Daly and Kelly. He's over the halfway mark. He kicks ahead. McIndoe's in a race for the ball with Ferguson and Alexander. Alexander it is who touches down. Pat on the head from McIndoe, his Penrith teammate, saying, well done. That's a great, uh, great advantage that uh, Alexander does provide to the side. He's got tremendous pace to get back and cover up problems like that. And the way Queensland are playing, he's going to be pretty busy tonight. There it is on the replay. Alexander just getting in there by the skin of his teeth before being forced in goal by McIndoe. Darrell Eastley. The Blues now restart from underneath the post. And what a start from Queensland. Right, <laughs> gee, they've uh, come up with the points already. But the New South Wales side have done with yet a long way to go in this game. As the Queensland side have the ball just inside New South Wales half now. Vorton, hard and straight. Plenty of defence, though. McGuire over the top. Goes to Walters. Walters with a little step. Makes four or five. Miller over the top, though. Slams him down. Fennick underneath. Now comes the Langer. Langer gets it on to, uh, to Bella. Bella not as dominant as he was at Lang Park early in this game. Langer again, a little step inside. Langer slips a clever ball away to Kieran Wallace. Out for Lewis. Lewis still going. Standing in the tackle. Now they come and he's still going. Wally Lewis. Oh, gee, strong. He's strong now. Gets it out to Wallace. On to Langer. They're in almost the danger zone now. The kick comes across. Waiting for the bounce, but bounces into touch. Well, Warren Ryan, you, you've only got to look at Lewis for the ball. He is so strong. Yeah, but it was a good effort too by Langer. Langer, for all money, was tackled and he stopped and got a little pass back and, and in a way it went to Wally. That's the greatness of Brisbane. They keep, or Queensland, they keep this ball alive. Scrums, New South Wales, two Queensland, one so far as uh, the Blues run the ball out now. Boy, oh boy, do they need to get down to this other end of the field quickly. Gary Jack takes it from dummy half. Good run from him, makes four or five, but too much defence. Miles over the top, Vorton there to help him too. Fennick now gets it out to Dunn, crunching big defence from Queensland. Bella, and also big back over. Fitness cloud over him today, he goes in again, Bella. <laughs> out for Alexander, he decides to clear it out of there. Pretty clever kick too. Comes over for Belcher though, he's uh, in good position. Hancock a dummy half. No one there, still going Hancock. And across the field, maybe made three or four metres, that's about all though. Wallace now a dummy half, runs from there, so both sides making a few metres from the dummy half runs. Yeah, but the real action's out wide, this Queensland side, they can go one way and then hit back the and other. Here's Langer again, a little chip over the top, he's so elusive, tries all the time to vary the play, he's so elusive Warren. Very much so. I was just about to say that Queensland can appear to be going one side of the field. They'll keep it alive there and they'll quickly transfer it to the other side of the field and that's where we've been found wanting tonight already. We've been found wanting in uh, not adjusting out wide on the other side of the field. Dunn gets plenty of attention here from Bella. Also Bobby Lynn and now Fennick. Fennick looking for some runners. 
Kelly playing it back. Now it comes to Bradley Clyde. Almost gets a half break, but there's uh, some good defence right around his ankles with Bacco having a bit to say to the big fella. Back again, New South Wales to decide to clear it out, but Belcher again perfectly positioned. Pointing the defence up, he runs across centre field. Now they take him almost to the halfway line is Gary Belcher. The Queensland with the ball again. They're on the attack. Here's Langer looking for Curry. Gets it out to Bobby Leonard from a standing start. Too much defence there. Maguire over the top. Both Maguire and Kelly wearing the headgear tonight. This is Bella. Ronda Bella a lot too. quicker than they were at Lang Park. Walters. Deep they are now. Over for Lewis. Little short pass for Miles. And a beautiful ball for Curry. Curry winds up with the referee. Says we'll bring it back. Lightly forward by G. Miles to so, so cleverly, does he? Little basketball pass over the top. We see it week after week. I believe he was a pretty good basketballer, Jimmy Miles, and, and uh, certainly serves him well. The other thing is, Queensland aren't coming at us like they did in the Lang Park game. There's not the uh, they're not not the hammering away by Belcher, uh, by uh, Bella and Horton and Miles in the middle of the ruck. They're moving the ball very quickly and moving it early. Well, New South Wales have missed seven tackles already in this match. As Gary Jack spins it around for Mortimer, he straightens it up. And they're about 14 metres into uh, Queensland's territory. A penalty to New South Wales. Player not getting off him quick enough to allow him to play the ball. And that's something we see week after week also. As a coach, I mean, how often do you bring that up to your team? Well, the essence of the game is, I suppose, to uh, work to the tolerance of the referee. You've got to try and slow them down a little bit. But, uh, you know, you, if you go over the board, overboard, well, you pay the price. New South Wales decide to go for uh, a couple of points. To get on the board, Laurie Daly, the kicker. And it's not a bad angle for him. He's almost centre field. He's probably only three metres off centre. But he's about 33 metres out, so he needs to get plenty of height and distance. Daly kicked one from two in Brisbane. Setting himself up now, a long way out, early points, probably pretty vital for New South Wales. 6 0, they're trailing at the moment. His first kick at Lang Park was a shocker, if we remember. It was. He's a bit further out than that, too, uh, Darrell. He's about 41 out there, and it's, uh, it's a fair kick if he gets this one. Well, the ball's in the air again, like the Brisbane kick, it's a shocker. Not a good kick at all. So, Belcher. Tackle by Mortimer underneath. Malmeninga runs from dummy half. Oh, and a big hit, too, from Laurie Daly. Well, Mike Cleary down on the sidelines. A bit, of, a bit of anxiety down here on behalf of New South Wales. Jack Gibson's put himself up in the stand with a concrete ceiling. They can't communicate, so they're a little bit concerned. But uh, we've got a message. The runner's gone up there now. OK, so Jack Gibson having trouble because of the concrete in the stand in communication. But there's a bit of communication going on with the Blues now as they run the ball to the 22, almost into that danger zone for Queensland. Johns, Johns winds up. Too much defence, though, they take him. He's made maybe oh, three, four metres into the 22. Back it comes now for Alexander. There are the runners coming through. Bradley Clyde, big lump of a lad. It's one down, though, cowboy style. On to Kelly. Kelly hard and straight. They're 10 metres out. Final tackle. Look for the kick. Alexander has to step back. There it is, a little stab kick. Not too much trouble for Queensland. Can they run it out, though? There was another shepherd there. There was a definite shepherd there in the in-goal area, and uh, he nearly got out again. Well, that's the second time we've seen that happen. So we'll keep our eye on that, Warren. Well, the man goes back and stands in front of him, and he uses him to jump around him with the right foot. That was definitely a shepherd then. OK. Still, we're in good position if we can do something with this possession. Again, it's a line dropout to get play restarted. No question in my mind, both times Queensland have been in that in goal. They've obstructed the New South Wales defence. Both times a penalty should have come, but the line dropout from Lewis goes to the arms of Jack. And Jack takes it back now towards the 35 metre line. Dummy half is Mario Fennec calling for runners to take it from the dummy half. And here's Miller. Miller inclined to get across the ground just a fraction, however. They made no ground. And Fennec again is the ball distributor from Dummy Half. That is done. The ball appeared to get knocked down. Whether it was knocked down by Queensland or not, no, he's ruled that a knock-on took place, in fact, from Queensland. 
They came up with the football, so it's a scrum to go down. About 25 away from the Queensland line. New South Wales trailing. Six points to nil. Hancock, hello, the referee has taken a, a dipsy doodle, spilled his lollies. In front of 40,000 people at the Sydney Football Stadium, heavens above it's a sight. Alexander works with Gary Jack, a rehearsed play, and Jack will play the ball on the Queensland 22. Number 12 is Maguire, debuting tonight in Origin Football. Dummy half is Alexander. The tackler was Miles. A cutout ball around the back for the second man, which is done. And he's tackled by Vorton up the top and by Walters underneath. Away for Fennick now. Fennick puts a little bit of a stutter into his uh, lead up. And then he finds Chris Johns, who's held by Wally Lewis, wedging that ball against his midriff. Johns couldn't get, uh, get rid of it. Mortimer gives it to Alexander. A long torpedo pass out to Laurie Daly. Hurries around them. Hurries looking for the corner. In the touch. In the touch. Well, he does a great bit of work by Daly then. He's a, he's a fine player. He just couldn't get his arms free. Ferguson came up on the inside of him here. This is terrific stuff. He got around the outside, beat the tackle, got to his feet again. He's looking for Ferguson, but he can't get free with his arms. It was a great effort by Laurie Daly in a confined space. Queensland come up with the scrum, which went down five metres out from their own line. And playing the ball is uh, McIndoe. Away from dummy half is Linda, wearing that number 13 jump as they do these days internationally universally I should say oh big hit real big hit on Miles penalty though a swinging arm in the tackle from Maguire and a penalty goes to the Maroons there's the offender according to referee Manson one of your boys was well he's even starting to look like Peter Kelly but I, I, that was a great hit that was a great hit I, I'd like to see him what that was ruled there it looked all right to me now the tap is taken by Walters and Bella goes ahead taking play five meters into Blues territory Langer first receiver throws the dummy to the outside gets a loose ball away for Walters to scoop out to Miles Miles met by Alexander good tackle good tackle by the little number seven Away now to the left and going up is Linda, but working his way back in behind to play the ball. Langer is down injured. Langer's been down for some seconds as Lewis throws the long, long ball. Way out to Belcher. Belcher has been swamped by Mortimer. Referee Manson, though, giving a penalty against Mortimer for not getting off the tackle player. Well, a couple of his rulings have been, to my mind, premature. I think he's been a little bit premature there indeed, Ray. Uh, two penalties in a row to Queensland, just when our tackling was picking up in quality and the crowd was starting to enjoy it. Um, well, we'll wait and see, but I hope they keep at it, the New South Wales boys. That's the way to try and pull this game back. Sam Bacco tackled 32 metres out from the New South Wales line. Walter's dummy half. Bella takes it up. And he's met and pulled down by Captain Miller and also Paul Dunn. Langer's coming off. Langer's coming off. Away to Miles. It's gone to Vorton now as we stay with the action because Queensland are piling it on. Although I get the impression New South Wales are now tackling as though their, their careers depend on it. Alexander comes up with the loose ball off the grubber kick from Miles. But it's all, all a byproduct of the quality of the tackling, right? The, the, the intensity in the defence has picked up. The crowd are getting behind it. And I think we can swing this around if it keeps up. Now it's Fennick going ahead. Fennick about 12 metres short of the halfway mark. Alexander is uh, living at dummy half on about a 50-50 ratio to first receiver. He and Fennick are switching that job around. Much was the, uh, the case at Lang Park. Oh, put down by Ettinghausen. Lewis comes up with the football for the Maroons. Linda goes to the blind side before giving it to Bella. And Bella is pulled down by... Mortimer and also Eddinghausen, who made the mistake, and Queensland go back onto the attack. Here's Miles. Good tackle by Bradley Clyde. He was the first man into the tackle. Fennick and Miller came in second and third. Hagen's on for Langer. And it's Vorton now, who'll play the ball 22 metres out from the New South Wales line. Just a shade further out than that. Six points to nil in favour of Queensland. A try in the early seconds. Scored by Hancock. After Lewis... Linda and Langer, together with Belcher, all played their parts. Queensland on the last. Lewis is going for the drop goal. 
Mill have tried to charge it down. It's fallen short under the crossbar and over the dead ball line. So it's a 22 place kick. Cap restart for the New South Wales side. Michael Cleary, what's the story on Alan Langer? Well, if they say he's done his uh, ankle ligaments, uh, it was an immediate call-off. As soon as the first runner went out, they called on the second, and then the stretcher followed it. He's in a bit of pain. He was pretty wide in the face. Uh, but we have, that's as far as we know at the moment, it's the ligaments. Well, he's a great halfback. You've got to be a good halfback to wear the Australian number seven. But Michael Hagen won't let the Maroons down. Darrell Eastley. The Blues with the ball now. And they're hungry to get back into this Queensland territory. They're having a lot of trouble at the moment. This Queensland defence is hard and straight, but this time the referee pulling up play again. There's a bit being said, Warren. One of the Queenslanders just smacked uh, Maguire. Yeah. Pretty yeah. obvious who it is. We might see that again. Here it is. It's done with the ball. And there's the Bella, the little short one to Maguire in the background. Well, looks like a penalty to New South Wales here. Queensland are, are retiring and... Uh, just hope Maguire's all right. Penalties are two all at the stage. Laurie Daly now takes the touch finder. Doesn't gain a lot of territory with it, though. In fact, only a couple of metres, really. Ferguson. Cross field, though. Too much defence. Almost gets half a break, but Vaughton wraps him up. Done now. Clears it quickly. This Queensland defence still swarming in, and so is the Blues. The defence has been pretty good so far from both sides. Queensland obviously had uh, the better territorial advantage so far. John's dancing around. Nowhere to go. Bella on top of him. Mario Fennick looking for Kelly. Kelly now hard and straight too, and takes two with him, and uh, takes a bit of getting down. Kelly, the midway between the half and the quarter, New South Wales. Fennick through Alexander. The runners are coming now through Bradley Clyde. Almost gets a hand three. Does too with some good work. Gets it to Fennick down. A little handball. Pass over the top. It could not be taken. Maguire put it down. Lewis comes up with it. Now it's Gene Miles. He gets it back for Belcher. Belcher does some dancing. Mortimer gets him down. Maguire still getting out of the way from the Miles tackle. Sam Bacco. And now it's Queensland. Midway big quarter, between the quarter and the half. There into the ground. Walters. Flicks one out for Belcher. Belcher clearly gets it out to Bella. Hagen. Replacement on for Langer. Michael Hagen. Queensland looking pretty flat at the moment. In attack. They're not lying deep. Miles will play it. He gets it back to Walters. Walters flicks it out for Lewis. Lewis puts it in the air. Gary Jack in position though. Takes it on the second bounce. Brings it back. A cross field, can't beat them. Yes, he does. He gets out of tackle number one. Back they come and get him. So good run again from Gary Jack. Benick on to Dunn. Dunn swivels to unload, but can't. But they're back into Queensland's half by about a metre. Benick switches it back the other way now. Miller, he swivels, gets one out for Benick. Benick now looking for the runners with Alexander. Bradley Clyde comes up. Or is that Johns? No, it's Johns. They've only really made a couple of metres then. Yes, they're finding it hard to get through this Queensland defence. Bradley Clyde did a good bit of work just a while ago. He took a couple with him and got a good pass away, but we put it to ground. So uh, they've got to keep hammering away, though. The Queenslanders are very organised. Kelly will wonder. Miller, nice ball. Miller taken, though. Comes back for Fennick. On to Alexander. Puts a high ball up, and there's plenty of chases coming through. Underneath it is... He really wasn't pressured on that catch. They were in, in the area, but he wasn't interfered with and should have caught that one. And it was an absolute gift for Daly. It popped straight to him, and he said, thanks very much, and we'll 
We'll move level with you. And so the game's interesting again. And a giant kick from Alexander. That was a marvellous kick. The higher they go, of course, the, the, the easier for the runners to get under them, the harder and the more it plays on the mind of the bloke waiting for it to come down. But it was interesting a while ago. Uh, well, well, we'll change kickers. Greg Alexander is going to take this kick because Laurie Daly's obviously sacked himself and Alexander gets it. So, we've got a ball game again. Six apiece. Wally Lewis now ready to restart for Queensland. A little shell-shocked after that one. Gary Belcher just so normally so safe. Just spill one and Daly swooped on it. And that's the break the Blues needed. Gary Jack now on his own line brings it back. And this should pick him up. I was about to say a while ago and Wally had a crack at the field goal. I wonder if that's an admission that the defence is a little tougher tonight and that the, the seven-point margin might have been pretty uh, pretty handy. Miller then with a real tough run gets a few yards. Penalty though to New South Wales, waving Queensland back. Ball's flicked out for Daly. really make a lot of ground with his last one, only a couple of metres. He really has done the same there. He's not looking for a lot of distance. Well, that was in furl. It was right in the middle of the furl. That, that's a fairly good kick, really, from that position. So at six points all, if you've just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, you're on the second state of origin from the Sydney Football Stadium and a capacity house now. Every seat in the stadium filled. Six points all the score. And Mortimer to play it for New South Wales. Away now for Alexander. This is Daly. Cutting out Jackie. Picks up uh, Chris Johns. And Johns, who seems to have fallen into that centre position more than once. I'm just wondering whether Andrew Eddinghausen has pushed out to the wing. This is Kelly now. Put down by Bacco in number 10 and Horton in 11. Dunn running as a, a decoy there for Maguire, who's with the football, but really put down heavily by Linda and Hagen. Hagen came on as a replacement for Alan Langer. Ankle ligaments, we hear. It could be worse, though. Here's Hancock, try scorer for Queensland. Tackled by Alexander. Warren Ryan, you made a comment that uh, Greg Alexander would have to play 80 minutes of football. Well, he certainly played the first 30. Yes, he's very involved, and... Uh... If he, keeps it, if he keeps at it, as the defence ties, Greg Alexander will find some holes for us. Now Meninga is coming from the, the field of play. Let's go to Michael Cleary and see if he can bring us up to date on what's happened here with Meninga. An answer on Meninga. We know that Alan Lang has gone to hospital for precautionary x ray. Uh, it'll be interesting just to see the field, the field place at the moment. I'm just trying to get a bit of a briefing here from the uh, manager of the Queensland side. If I get any more information, I'll come back to you. Well, Dale Shearer has meantime gone on for Meninga. Of course, one's always frightened that it might be a head bend, but it looks like Meninga might be off for the night. This is Gary Jack, 32 away from his own line, repeating six points all. As New South Wales work at left and a knock on from uh, the number five, which is Johns. He uh, is falling back to that wing position now, Chris Johns. He's been obviously given a roving commission. He played most of his football in the centres, of course, earlier on and uh, fills that position admirably for the Broncos. Ball being played by Linda. This is Horton. Queensland up to the New South Wales 22 line. Always a crucial period of play. The 10 minutes coming into half time. Lewis with a long spiraling pass to Hagen. Hagen to Belcher. Belcher away to Dale Shearer. Shearer gets the pass away. And it's gone loose. It's kicked on the toe by Hagen. But he's ruled the ball went forward from Curry. And Hagen diving on the ball, which went forward. So it's coming back for the knock on 10 metres away from the New South Wales line. Scrums favouring New South Wales, 5-3. to three. A little blot on uh, Daly's copybook there in defence. He's had a fine game so far, but he made a little defensive error there and uh, nearly left Queensland in for a try. Alexander feeds. He comes to the blind side, runs into Hagen wearing jumper number 15. Of course, the names on the jumpers help uh, everybody. And this is Bradley Clyde now. Youngest player ever to play State of Origin football. Meninga is in the head bin, we're told. So Shearer will only be out there for... A short period of time. Now it's Kelly. Kelly, each and every time he's uh, handled the football, he's just put the head down, tucked the football under his wing, and made them tackle. 
Now Mortimer decides to clear. Ball bouncing down to Belcher. He's about uh, 28 metres out from his own line. And coming up towards halfway, he's met by the defence of Clyde and also the kicker Mortimer. Now it's from Hagen. And this is Hancock. A certainty for a, an Australian jumper, I feel, on that New Zealand tour. Walters into dummy half. Lewis wants it. That's him. And now it's out to Sam Backer. Near the halfway line. Six points all. Bella. Met by Alexander and uh, almost the Cumberland throw. He's doing a lot of front line work, Alexander, in the early stages of the set of six. Now he's covering. He's covering this movement. He's doing a lot of work. Michael Hagen plays the ball. This is the last. Lewis puts the boot to it. Jack coming across will field it on about the fourth or fifth bounce back near his own goalposts. And now it's Gary Jack bringing it out. He has certainly come into origin football this year on a, a very slender preparation, Gary Jack, after that awful break to the forearm. This is Johns. On behalf is Fennick. Now Miller taking it up. Then just putting a bit of a swerve into his work before Daly is tackled on the 22 mark. Away from Dunn. This is Fennick. Fennick! Fennick! Did well. Made a gain of about eight metres. Took more than two to stop him. Kelly again. I like the things that Kelly is doing. They mightn't be all that fashionable, but at least he's bringing two and three defenders into him. And he's steering New South Wales in a forward direction. Laying the foundation through the forwards for the backs to do something. This is Belcher now. And that run helped the kicking game then. That run at Kelly's gave us a chance to put a deep kick in then and pin them. Lewis working the run around with Hancock. And Hancock is tackled. No gain in ground. Right in the centre of the football field. And only about 15 metres out from the Queensland line. This is McIndoe. Winger playing it to Winger. Hagen scoops it up to Miles. Miles is out to the 22 for Andrew Eddinghausen to pull him down. Dale Shearer has gone into acting half. Here's Martin Bella meeting the New South Wales forwards. He did well. He got well and truly across the advantage line. Five tackles gone. The clearing kick to come. Lewis. A kick by Lewis. Moore, it's looking better every bounce. And he finds it. He finds it just outside the New South Wales 22. But again, I saw a, a little bit of an instance of an obstruction. It's a professional obstruction that Queensland continue to use. A player fell in in front of Lewis, ob obstructing the defence from getting to it. Here's Lewis. Now, what's this Queenslander come in front of Lewis? No question about it. The defence obstructed. But uh, that's one area of Manson's refereeing that he's turned a blind eye to. Scrum fed by Alexander, won by the Blues. Long ball out to the number six, Mortimer. Now it's with Ferguson, folding in from the... He's through! Tony Ferguson, 34 years of age. He's still in the way. He's up to the 32, looking at the quarter line now. Great run by Ticker. 35 years of age next month. And running like an 11-year-old. Good boy, Johnny. Now, Miller, Captain Courageous. This is Bradley Clyde. The oldest player on the park made the big run. The youngest one looks like he almost ended it. Bradley Clyde, and the, the, the roar goes up for the Blues now. Clyde, away to Mortimer. Now it's with Alexander. Good pass. It's gone from Dunn and put down. Put down by Maguire. Kerrod Walters comes up with it for Queensland. Oh, panic stations for the Maroons. And a penalty against the New South Wales defence on Walters, Hancock is injured, it's an arm, it's probably the upper forearm, he's got feeling in the fingers as you saw, as the wide world of sports rugby league cameras take us in, some excellent camera work from the boys here at the football stadium tonight. Queens are now taking up through Sammy Bacco. Big slam and Sam takes it straight up the middle, a little uh, fumble there though, but Queensland quick to tidy it up, Karen Walters, Oh, and some big defence from the Blues too as they slam him down on the Sydney football turf. G Miles a dummy half. He gets it out to Bobby Linda. Linda though wrapped up and just driven back. This Blues defence rock solid tonight. Six apiece. New South Wales and Queensland. Look at this. Oh, 
Mike Cleary on the sideline. Plenty of action as far as injuries. Hancock looks like she's coming off, and we're going to find that uh, Cook will go on. And they tell me that Meninga's going to go away for an X-ray, a possible Great. cheekbone factor. Great work by Ferguson, then. Well, let's hope that Mal Meninga has not got a fractured cheekbone. That's the, the message from Mike Cleary. We'll keep you up to date as that as the game progresses. OK. Boyne is warming up, we're told. We'll get a shot of him in a moment. But right now, we're centre field. Mario Finnick flicks one back for Alexander. He gets it out for Mortimer. Mortimer on to Gary Jack. Gary Jack winds up. They wrap him up, though. Bobby Linder is Gary Coyne getting ready to come on number 17. This is done, though. Straight up the centre. Straight up and hard, the Blues, at the moment. Six apiece. This big crowd soaking up. Great break. Bit hard to get with him. He ran from dummy half. He's pretty oh, quick. Oh, he wasn't a quick Darren, run. They haven't got any motorbikes out there. Well, I understand what you're saying, but by gee, the acceleration was there. And he, no one could get to him. Having a big game, Greg Alexander. Hancock in a little bit of pain by the look of it. So the Queensland is a bit battered and bruised at the moment. Yeah, well, I thought Alexander, I said earlier, when the... When the defence tires a little, Alexander will come into his own, we just saw the danger that he presents to Queensland and I think they've seen it too well he's having a big game, the Penrith halfback put that towering kick up the Daly scored off and another clean break there, Lewis now restarts the ball centre field at the moment through Daly Daly puts the accelerator pedal down but they take him Daly hurt in that tackle too. Gene Miles, the tackler. Bradley. Hancock is uh, maybe coming off. We believe that Gary Coyne could be coming on for Hancock, but we'll keep it posted on that. Right now it's Miller. Miller shows the ball. Tries to step through one, but he can't. Hagen over the top. Back o underneath. Finnick now. Finnick straight up the middle. Gets another three or four. They're inside that 22. There's a field goal on here. I thought there's a field goal attempt. And you're right. No go. Well, plenty of flair from the young bloke tonight. What a game. Warren what a Ryan game. picked it. Well, you know, it's six all and there's a minute to go to half time. He's wonderful how he can step back like that, just give himself some room. Oh, he's got class all right. And uh, I think we're getting a good effort from him tonight. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to the second half with Alexander. Gene Miles been pretty quiet in the first half. Gene Miles, as far as running goes, plenty of defence. There at Wallers. Wallers across, trying to link up. He gets Lewis. Oh, some big defence on Lewis. They like that. The crowd down here. Mortimer. Bang. Who else? Wally goes down. Who else? Oh, big tackle. Wallers now. Sprints away from dummy half. And pops one up too. Gets it out to Bella. Now it goes on to Hagen. Hagen dancing around centre field. That's the halfway line you can see there. Fifth tackle for Queensland. Back for Lewis. Bang. Down it goes. Gary Jack turning around. Gets it OK, though. Goes down. Gets up again now. Now they put him down. Inside the 22. Gary Jack for New South Wales. Back it comes for Johns. Johns with a little sprint. Gets outside the 22 by about eight, maybe nine metres. Kelly looking for a run, but it's Bradley Clyde that takes it up. Benick a dummy half. This time it's Kelly, though. We're there to meet him. Back for Fennick. Again, he sprints from dummy half. And oh, he's back it up. Oh, he has busted. He's got to come to McGuire. McGuire strides down centre field, but they take him. Up he goes. Unloads. It's going loose. Almost out of time as Belcher takes the ball right on the halfway line. Well, a beautiful break from Mario Fennick. He had Chris McGuire beside him and the ball went loose. And Darrell, I can sense the Queensland forwards tiring. We're making inroads right at the play of the ball. And if I think Jack will see it and I think we'll, you'll see our forwards hammer them even harder in this second half. This might be a boil over tonight. Well, what a great game of football so far. Six apiece here at the Sydney Football Stadium. Well, here's the Queenslanders coming out. We've been told that uh, Trevor Gilmeister will take the field in place of Paul Vorton, who apparently suffered an arm injury or an elbow injury 
in that first half of play. He probably, when you think about it, wasn't as prominent as he was at Lane Park, but there's Gilmeister on the paddock. A rather concerned look on Wally Lewis's face, and uh, that's understandable. Well, he's looking down the gun barrel tonight, and he knows there's going to be 40,000 happy people here if they don't get up with this result. So he'd naturally be concerned. And, of course, uh, when Wally's concerned, we ought to be concerned too. Just repeating, we lost Alan Langer and Mel Meninga during the first 40 minutes, but Michael Hancock is still on the field for the Queenslanders. There was some thought that he might have to be replaced at half-time, but it was Paul Vorton replaced by Trevor Gilmeister, and Wally Lewis gets the second half of the second State of Origin underway, and it's Gary Jack taking the ball back to meet the Maroons on his own 22, Miles the tackler. Queensland, of course, a chance tonight to win the series and wrap it up here. New South Wales, New South Wales, they, of course, have the opportunity and a golden opportunity now to stay in the series, keep it alive and keep their chances of uh, an equal share of Australian jumpers as uh, Bradley Clyde makes a good run, gets the ball away to Maguire, but uh, the referee has called one of the passes forward. We'd like to see that one again, please, if we could. Well, it'll be this ball here from Bradley Clyde to Bruce Maguire. No way. It was all right. So the scrum is down and uh, the ball is out to Queensland, away from Hagen, it's gone to Lewis, and this is Dale Shearer. Shearer came on to replace Meninga in uh, the second 20-minute sector of this game. As we find now the ball being played by Gilmeister. Fed away by Linda for Bella. And Bella is grasped there by Bradley Clyde. A good tackle by the young 19-year-old Raiders uh, lock forward. Fed back by Walters to Bella to Hagen. And across now to Lewis. Infield pass for Bacco. And uh, Sam, Smoke and Sam, on the ground. Plays the ball now. Coming across from the far side of the ground to push the, the wrap around to the right is Gilmeister. And uh, referee indicating the last tackle against the Queenslanders. Out to Lewis. Lewis putting the high ball up over the head of Jack. It's a great bomb from Lewis, but it's bounced on the point and gone over the dead ball line. So it'll come out to the 22 for the restart for New South Wales. Let's take a comment from the sidelines. Michael Cleary. It seems there's a gremlin snuck into the line between here and the sidelines. Warren Wright. And that was a critical decision to rule that, that run forward because instead of us working out of trouble now, we would have had them, if we hadn't got a try, we'd have them working out of trouble by now. So there's a 100 metres difference in that decision. Ball to be played by Kelly. Dummy half is Miller. Little dummy half run, not going very far, just a couple of metres before he came to Gilmeister. Benick away now for Dunn. Dunn going back in towards the play the ball area. And now it's Fennick getting the pass away for Clyde. Clyde swallowed in the tackle by, by Bacco. Fennick again from dummy half. He made a lot of yardage out of dummy half in the first half. Alexander, a little handoff now for Clyde. And that's the halfway line you see. Five tackles gone for the Blues. Six points all if you've just joined us. As Alexander, who's had a super game, plugs that ball down into the far corner. Belcher comes away with it, but he's been wrapped up by Andrew Eddinghausen. Play back on the Queensland 22 now. We haven't seen much of Eddinghausen yet. I hope he gets in, into this game before it runs out of time because there's plenty of speed there, and uh, let's hope we get him away. This is Gene Miles. Let's take a comment now from Mike Cleary. Well, just a comment I have is what I've heard from the dressing room. Gab Jack Gibson, of course, is happy, but he wants to try in the first five minutes. He wants to keep the pressure on. Arthur Beetson uh, is concerned about the injuries, but has asked the fellas to get out there and get stuck right into New South Wales. And I think from what you just saw also, he's asked Wally Lewis to start floating that ball in the air. This is the last tackle for the Maroons as Lewis has to pass the ball back to a, an alternative kicker in the shape of Belcher. Jack getting underneath it. And uh, he's going to be tackled on the quarterway line. The first on this set of six for New South Wales. Ducking in to dummy half is Johns. And he's uh, away from the tackle from Bob Linder. He's able to gain a further and very valuable eight metres. Play in the centre of the puck. 32 metres out from New South Wales line. And this is uh, Maguire. Maguire and uh, Kelly looking very similar. Both head geared. As it comes away for Kelly now. And the big Penrith prop... He's brought down about eight metres on his side of the halfway. 
Alexander, a scamper from dummy half, and you can expect plenty of that type of running in this uh, second stanza. Fennec showed them the way in the first half that there were metres to be gained by getting out from dummy half quickly, and uh, Gibson certainly would have said, keep that up. Now the ball is put down into that bottom corner by Mortimer as uh, Hancock comes back towards the centre of the ground, away from Eddinghausen, who gives chase, away from Johns. Eddinghausen's got him now, and the Hancock will play the ball. He ran about 50 metres, but he only went about five metres forward, in fact. And this is uh, Tony Curry to play it. Miles now, putting some steam on, but he was met and crunched to the ground. It was a good tackle by Kelly initially, and again Miles makes another 10, 15 metres. Good work by the international. Away now, cutout ball for Bella. Bella putting a little kink into his work. He's lost it. He's lost it. Oh, he's given a penalty to Queensland. He's ruled that uh, New South Wales stole the ball against Alexander, it appeared. Well, he's ruled that he stole the ball. You be the judge. Bit of timely assistance there, I felt. for Queensland, he's taking it straight up and uh, they're just in by maybe 10 metres into New South Wales territory. Back -o. Back for Walters. Gets it on to Bobby Linder. Bobby Linder makes four or five. They're centre field now. Midway between the uh, half and the quarter. Maybe a little bit closer to the quarter than that. But this defence of the Blues is still pretty solid. Two going in. Mortimer doing a lot of tackling there. Now a little handball on for uh, Gene Miles. He's taken by Finnick. He gets a good ball back. Wallace uh, Lewis gets it just by accident. <laughs> They're throwing it around as Hagen stabs it up in the air. Gary Jack running back for it. Takes it on the first bounce, though, and brings it back for maybe five metres. Gets it away now to Daly. Daly goes another couple, and they take him over into touch. Well, that's good defence from Queensland. New South Wales struggling to get that ball away from the line, and Queensland bundle him into touch. Yeah, prior to that, I thought there was a little forward pass there by Queensland, but that went unnoticed. He, there's been three critical decisions in this half for my money. I, I hope my New South Wales colours aren't showing, but uh, for my money, there's been three very important decisions gone Queensland's way. Curry. Tackle inside the danger zone for the Blues. The 22 now, Linda. Centre field. Again, they raid away through Bacco. Hard run from Bacco. Just 10 metres out now. Comes from Hagen. It goes to Lewis. Lewis on to Miles. Miles will put the basketball pass up. And Mortimer takes it this time. Scrambly play. See what happens. He says six to go. Queensland with the ball again. So touched by New South Wales in his eyes. Again, they raid away. Floating ball out. Sloppy ball. Can't be taken, though. He's pointing down again. Look at Gavin Miller. Well, going on. He's at Queensland ball. That beats the band, that one. I was going to facetiously say I think he'd rule a knock back there, but, uh, you know. Well, he has made some strange decisions tonight, but anyway, Walters has got the ball, and so has Queensland now. Lewis, that's the 22 that Lewis is just running in front of. He can't get the pass away. Mortimer over the top. They're Slams doing well down. here in New South Wales. Their defence is holding up tremendously. Then, nah. Can he slip it away? No, he can't. Lucky to hold on to that then as he went down. They haven't really made too much ground because that's the 22 you can see. Stab kick from Belcher. Johns takes it inside the in goal area and they'll take him. Can he get it out? Yes, he does. Just gets it out into the field of play. That's good play from Johns. Had to fight his way out then. Gary Jack. They've survived a lot of tackles there, New South Wales. That, that's been a tremendous passage of play for them, but it's probably play that or pressure they should never have been put under. Out it comes now. Back it comes from Fennick. On to Dunn. Slips one out to Miller. Quick ball out now to Bradley Clyde. Long floating ball. Oh, good hands there on to Ferguson. Ferguson winds up and can't get away from McIndoe. McIndoe wraps him up. Good duel between the wingers here. New South Wales clearing it downfield. Belcher, though, takes it midway between the quarter and a half. Makes about four or five, but the chasers come through and slam him down. Gary Coyne coming on. We'll see who's going off. This is Shearer, though. Shearer out of one. 
Gerard Ventriana one. Can't get the ball away, though. Bella. Too much defence on Bella. Bang, down he goes. And there's Balmeninga with the ice pack on the cheek. And you can see the eye really swollen up. We're not sure about the cheekbone. We'll try and get some information on that in this half. There it is. Suspected fractured cheekbone. Really closed eye there. Gerard Wallace over. The little run from dummy half. A scampering little run. Right on the halfway line. Fifth tackle for Queensland. Comes back for Lewis. There's the kick. Ferguson, though, well positioned, takes it, Ferguson, away from one, a little scampering run, a cross field. Eddinghausen, dummy half, he takes it up, oh, it's a big defence on Eddinghausen, is that Gilmeister? Yes. Slammed him down into the turf. Johns comes up, meets the Queensland line, and this is tough stuff at the moment from both sides. Miller bounces out of one, gets one out for Daly. Daly throws a little dummy to pass, but can't. This game's really in the balance right now. Loose ball from New South Wales. Dunn gets it. He gets it out to Daly. And there's... Oh, look at Johns on the ball. Came under the ball very hard. Oh, some big defence brought him down. Lewis wraps him up and holds him. Alexander comes out from Bradley Clyde. There's a try on here if they know if how to they do it. Go, they He's right in front, he puts the ball in the air. Up they go. New South Wales ball, no. Well, a bit of push and shove for the ball. We'll see who's got it. Queensland. Gene Miles coming away for the Maroons. Some pressure for them, which they withstood, but it was only a smidgen, really, compared with the defence that New South Wales were called upon to show at the other end of the park just a few minutes back. Ball played back to Kerrod Walters, and this is Bella working on a very narrow blind. Six points all is the score. I hope you're enjoying this Channel 9 Network Sports Special going internationally through New Zealand and, of course, to Papua New Guinea. Away now from Walters to Lewis. Lewis decides to go himself. Stands in the second tackle. Gets it away to Hagen on to Belcher. Belcher gives it on to uh, McIndoe. McIndoe to Shearer. Shearer to Hagen. Hagen to Walters. Walters goes to the 22. He's going to score. It's a Maroon try. Yes. Hold on. Karen Walters scores. After Wally Lewis inspired the try. Took it ahead. Beat one. Stood in another. And then it went through several sets of hands. And that man, number 15, Michael Hagen, I'm sure he handled twice in the play. Here it is. It was with Belcher. This is after Lewis had handled. He was the chief inspirer of this try. That was Hagen. And this little man, Kerrod Walters, he must be really pressing, uh, pressing for the green and gold, number nine. He goes in to score under the crossbar. Again for Warren Ryan. Yes, and I think Daly's done a hamstring in this event he couldn't get with Walters here and I think he's done a hamstring. Gary Jack a bad miss there on, on Walters but he was trying to mark two men and I think Daly's in the background there you'll see I think he's pulled up lane but Wally Lewis did the damage so a presentation two pointer coming up for Queensland Walters the try scorer and Gary Belcher has taken over the goal-kicking duties from an injured Mel Meninga. Belcher adds the two points. So Queensland lead New South Wales now by 12 points to six. Restart of play. Well, the question is now, can the Blues come back? Or is this uh, State of Origin series going to be won right here in front of 40,000 people at the Sydney Football Stadium by the Queenslanders? They're really doing a tough out there with injuries galore and a knock-on. A knock-on will give New South Wales a marvellous opportunity. Loose head and defeat, 15 metres out from the line, practically right in front. And Alexander's in superb form as he feeds the ball. It's been won against the feed. Well, that uh, will be one of the memorable moments in the match. Queensland winning that scrum, that vital scrum against the feed in front of their own uprights. Come up with six tackles in attack and would have been looking down the barrel of defending vigorously to keep the New South Welshman up. Back out to play it now. 
The halfway line is five metres up the park. And this is Bobby Linder now, put down by Mortimer, who's done a great job of trying to contain Wally Lewis. Walters getting the ball away to Miles. Fennick is the number nine. On his back for New South Wales is Dunn. Five tackles gone for the Maroons. Lewis now pushing that ball down into that far corner. Taking a left-hand turn, but Johns is able to come up with it. And he's put to ground by Hancock. And Hancock hasn't moved after making the tackle. He had that injury to an upper arm in the first half, and it, it could again be giving him trouble. This is Andrew Ettinghausen taking play back to the centre. 15 metres out from the New South Wales line. Clyde. Clyde goes ahead, and he meets the two big men, Miller and Bacco. Play back to Fennick. This is Dunn cracking the 22-metre zone. Five tackles gone. The clearing kick will come from Alexander. Keeping it low. Going down awkwardly for Belcher. Brings it away from his 22. He's up now past the 40-metre point. Taking it ahead now is Dale Shearer. Shearer away from two tackles. The ball has gone to Hancock. Hancock comes to Gary Jack. Beats Gary Jack. And is taken by Johns. Johns the tackler. Queensland on the attack. They'll need a quick push of the ball across the park. Away from Lewis. It's gone on to Miles. Miles away to Gilmeister. Gilmeister. He might score himself. No, he's pulled down. A metre from the line. Queensland 12. New South Wales 6. Miles from dummy half. This big, big man trying to force his way over. Not held up in goal. They're still in the field of play. Gilmeister, a sweeping pass to Lewis, stands and gets it away through Walters to Shearer. Shearer's held by Dunn and by Fennick. Still only two metres out from that New South Wales line. Ball being played. Walters, away to Lewis. Lewis, a short ball to Miles, was forward. A short pass to Miles, forward. He's going to put a scrum down. I must admit it... Uh, never ceases to amaze me how they more often than not put scrums down even though the ball has been deliberately thrown forward however the scrum is to go down with the new south wales feed scrum seven six to new south wales at the moment well some strange rulings here tonight no doubt about that but new south wales with a chance and a comeback the score we remind you 12 points to six queensland leading at the moment their center field inside their 22 Mortimer, Mortimer, going hard and fast, but this defence of Bacco. And all this pressure's come from us not winning our own feed up the other end of the field. That's why we're where we are. That's Gary Coyne on. Hancock is off. Coyne is on in 17. Well, look at the reshuffled side for you. That's Coyne you can see there now in the tackle with the headband on in number 17. Linda's got big troubles too, Darrell. Bad ankle. Yeah, there's been a lot of injuries in this great game. It's been played at an amazing pace. But here's Wally Lewis with a stolen ball now. Lewis makes his way upfield. He's got some pace. Lewis, can he go all the way? Still down. He does throw. Wally Lewis has gone in. And look at this. Well, we've said it before. This fellow is so incredibly strong. He doesn't look like he has the pace. But boy, oh boy, he just powered his way through the line there. Watch this again. Well, it comes out of this tackle, a spilled ball, Lewis gets it. Now watch this, he has a look. Raking run, splits the Blues defence. He doesn't look fast enough, he leaves Daly behind, pushes off Gary Jack, who goes over the line with him, and scores the try, he does the boogie. Well, the key to that was that we were in a, weren't in the good formation that they were in. They got a, a spilled ball, and... Uh, while he's deceptive, he's got more speed than he ever lets on. And he got a round done, and his strength there, he, Gary Jack's trying to pull him down, but uh, had little hope of stopping him at that point. And he goes into the throw. He's incredibly strong, Wally. Oh, he's unbelievable, and you're right about the pace. I mean, he never looks like he's that quick. So Queensland were in defensive formation there, where, which means they had a better spread of the field. So with a spilled ball, they, they were in position to do something with it immediately, and uh, that was the result. Well, they're the Blues behind the line, and they've really got the Blues now. Scoreline with the kick to come is 16 to 6. Belcher, not a good angle. There it is for you. That's the, the 22 and the touch line. He's in by about three metres. 
but just the amazing speed and strength of Wally Lewis did not look like that was possible Belcher taking a long time over this in the air coming back wave to way score remains Queensland 16 New South Wales 6 New South Wales restart there's some replacements on we'll bring you up to date with that in a moment Coyne brings it back that's Des Hasler on and Mackay is also on. Both of those, Mackay in 14. Hasler in 16. Mike Cleary, can you fill us in on the replacement situation? Well, you've got Hasler, Cartwright, and uh, Bruce Mackay has gone on. You've got Kelly, uh, Mortimer, and Daly have come off. Uh, I just see two clean jumpers in the back line. I just don't know what the positional play is at this stage. All right, Bella now with the ball. That's Desi Hasler in the foreground. Cartwright, of course, wearing 17. Hasler, 16. Queensland with the ball. And with the points on the board, 16 to 6. Midway between the quarter and a half. Lewis now. Well, Hasler, I'd say, has gone to 5 8 to replace Mortimer. Mackay's gone into the centre to replace Daly. And uh, Cartwright's gone on in the forwards. And which forward was taken off there? Kelly. Kelly. Kelly will. He'll go into the forwards. We'll just see the formation now as they line up. He's gone. He's gone to second row. Cartwright. So it's Maguire and Dunn in the front row. Asla. Little pass out to Mackay. Big moment for him. First touch of State of Origin football. Gary Jack now takes it out of dummy half. Makes four or five coin. And also Gilmeister in there to make the tackle. New South Wales working the play down toward halfway. Goes out to Fennick. Cartwright puts it down. Queensland ball. Coyne with the ball at the moment. Quick play the ball now. Out it comes for Bacco. Bacco hard and straight in they come. Cartwright. Hasler. Bella. Done over the top. Fennick. Also Gavin Miller in there too. Out to Coyne, fresh man, centre field about 10 out from the 22. Lewis gets it across to Miles. Hasler over the top, Mackay underneath. Lewis, the little stab kick, can he get it back? Hasler falls on it for New South Wales inside the Blues 22. Ferguson, dummy half, has a little step, tries to go from there but goes nowhere. Gilmeister underneath, Lewis over the top. Fennick. Gets it out for Maguire. Maguire goes hard. The fence comes and gets him. Coin underneath. Linder over the top. Vanek out for Dunn. Midway between the half and the quarter. The Blues into the ground. A bit of a chance here now. Alexander gets it out to uh, Haslam. He's taken pretty quick by Bobby Linder. Alexander dummy half. Buys it out for Cartwright. Cartwright with maybe five or six valuable ones there. They're almost to the halfway line now. Back it goes for the kick for Gary Jack. Bang, there it goes. Belcher though, right underneath it. He brings it back. Gets round Bradley Clyde. Clyde still chasing. Still going. Gary Belcher with a fine run. They come across now and get him. Mackay did a lot of chasing. Eddie Housen over the top. Our chase on that kick was very, very poor. And it just offered opportunity to Belcher. Walters, Bella, kicks in general play, New South Wales 17, Queensland 17. Lewis comes over for Bacco, flicks one out for Linda, good ball for Curry. Here they go again, they're raiding again, McIndoe with a chase with a fine touch, about five out. Now once again we're back on our own try line because we didn't chase our kick properly and Belcher put them in a great position to come back at us. Nice piece of play here by Curry. He realised that he uh, couldn't do any more himself in promoting the football, but he put the kick down very close to the touchline, giving McIndoe some kind of a chance, but unfortunately in the touch for Queensland. New South Wales coming up with the football, and this is Ferguson getting away from one or two tackles, which he, he does with monotonous regularity. Incidentally, Hasler fed that scrum, so he, so may, have, he may have Alexander at 5-8. Hasler has gone to half, it seems, and Alexander to 5 8 as it comes away now for Miller. Miller working his way up towards the 32-metre point. 
Alexander going into dummy. 15 minutes of the match remaining, but uh, that scoreline 16 seconds. And here's a big run by Maguire. Comes to Belcher. Gets it to Gary Jack. Dale Shearer comes across. The ball goes back. It's a penalty. Been knocked back by Queensland to a player coming through in an offside position. New South Wales gets the penalty. 25 metres out, right in front. 14 and a half minutes remaining. Queensland three tries to one, leading 16 to six. And so Alexander finds the line, 15 metres out from the Queensland line. And there's a couple of Queenslanders walking wounded. Linda's got an ankle problem. Curry's not all that well. John's across the park. This is Cartwright now. It was a great run by Cartwright before, and he got that ball away too. Fennick, Fennick, only two metres away from the Queensland line. Can New South Wales get back into the game? Alexander, Alexander's about oh, three blades of grass out from the line. That's how close he is. Miller, dummy half, away to Hasler. Hasler trying to get the ball away but can't. Pulled down by Hagen and Linda. Good defence. Fennick again. The ball back for Alexander. Now to Cartwright. Cartwright stands. He picks up Chris Johns. Johns. Johns has scored. And New South Wales are back in the ball game. 16 points to 10 in favour of the Maroons. Very good work by John Cartwright. He had a shaky start when he got out there. He put one down. But here he is, spending with the left hand, standing and getting it back to Johns, who's had a strong game on that flank for New South Wales. And 16 to 10, and a fairly simple kick, really, for Greg Alexander. Rather interesting to see Johns where he was there. He sniffed out a try. He's in the middle of the field, and good luck to him. But it was a good effort by Cartwright, too. And the run prior to that that gave us the break that got us there was initiated by Cartwright. So he's had a, had a drop ball, but some good stuff in attack since he's been on there. Alexander, 10 metres out. On just a slight angle. Ball in the upright position. He's got it. Got away a little bit. But it's two more points to New South Wales. Queensland, 16. New South Wales, 12. Ball to come back to the halfway mark. Queensland, they put a clean sweep on us last year. They won it in 87. New South Wales hasn't won a State of Origin series since 86. And the last series game they won was the first in 87. Out of the last seven played, Queensland have won six of them. And Lewis puts that ball deep down to Gary Jack. Ferguson's with him on one side, Cartwright's on the other. He doesn't use either. And it's Gary Jack to play the ball back to Johnny Ferguson. Ferguson ridden into the ground by Coyne. As Fennick goes into dummy hunt. This is Brad Mackay. State of origin debut for him. St. George player here in Sydney. Away for Miller. Now to Hasler. They're stretching the ball wide to Reddinghausen. He gives it out then to Chris Johns. And Johns gives it back to Des Hasler. Hasler's tackled. About 30, uh, 35 metres out from his own line as Miller comes away with it. They stretch the ball out to Maguire and Maguire gets the ball away but it's come down to Queensland. New South Wales are really having a go now. They're, they're really moving the ball and if we can get a little bit of possession <coughs> we might be able to pull this game out of the fire. That's the, the best we've played since we've been on there in this half. Queensland now with the football. And the Blues come back 16 to 12. Queensland bunched in the centre now as they come out. Bella loses the ball. Loses Clam. Back out. Well, he's ruled we've pulled that one out, yep. I suppose. That's what he ruled. We've had three bad possession losses in our own territory and put ourselves under a lot of pressure this half. Coyne gets it out for Gilmeister. Gilmeister hard and straight, trying to slip the ball. Gets one out the back door to Coyne again. Comes around out of Lewis. Lewis, can he handball one out? He does, but they can't take it. Hagen takes it. The referee pulls up play. Well, that was finally a knock-on. We'll see that again. 
Here it goes. Here's Lewis. Unloading. He gets a, a loose ball out there. Now it's picked up by Hagen. Well, they pull it up and the scrum goes out 10, or goes down 10 metres out. Having trouble with the scrum. Wants it repacked. Blues ball. Hasler. Smothered up, gets out of it though. Hasler with a little half break now. Makes it on the seven or eight, a cheeky little run from Hasler. Well, they switched that time. Um, Hasler was in the 5 8 position that time, so turn about. Vanik getting it on for Cartwright. Cartwright, handballs, one out. He's pulled up again. Wilson ended up with the ball, but they pull it up. Dunn's coming off. Queenslander feed. Walters. On for Coin. And they're almost back to that 22 again. Walters. Out for Bacco, inside the 22, Bacco. They finally thump him down. But that was a pretty good run. He made some valuable ground there. Now it comes on the Gene Miles. He winds up, tries to flick one out, regathers the ball. And this time he says that's enough. OK, scrum set down almost in the centre of the 22. Hasler gets it out for Gary Jack. Jack tries to split him and can't, but he's about uh, 15, 16 metres out from the line. Eddinghausen with half a slip. They get him easy meet that time. Benick waving them up. Hasler. Outside the 22 by a metre. And Hurt. Trying to get up the play at Hasler, which he will do. Miller. This is Wilson. A little bit of a wrestling match, but he gets it out to Eddinghausen. Eddinghausen now gets a little bit of room to move, but runs bang straight out of the red jumpers. A head hit there, one player down, but will stay with the ball at the moment. Cartwright loses the football. Queensland in possession. And that's just that's number not four. On. That's number four in our own half, this half. And it's just too costly. We just can't get down there in if we keep doing that. Incidentally, our technique of getting getting out wide and need, needs a little bit of brushing up. We're, they're just fading back and covering us up. Gary Belcher throws a pass across, but it's not in the touch. Referee David Manson. Yeah, we had numbers on them out on the right then, Darrell, but we, we ran on angles and two of them just faded off us and uh, swallowed us up. It's another feed. Fires one out for Hasler. Ferguson looking for some work, but they get him as he runs across field. Curry, the tackler. Mackay. He goes from dummy half. Centre field. 24 out. A long way to go. Loose ball on Bradley Clyde. Knocked it back. Trying to unload. Standing there, but no one to give it to. Fennick. Out for Wilson, and they're back where they started from. Maguire. 16 to 12. Fennick on for Miller. Miller turns it back inside. They can't take it, and Bacco will come up with it. There's a handover now. And the Queensland playing the ball about five metres into New South Wales territory as Walters, one of the outstanding performers for Queensland, is tackled about 10 metres into New South Wales area of play. 16 points to 12 and five and a half minutes of time remaining. Wilson on for Dunn. Cartwright has gone up to the front row. Wilson in the second row. Ball played by Bella and knocked down by Gilmeister who took a very heavy knock in a head clash with Eddinghausen earlier. So it's possible that Gilmeister isn't all that healthy. This is Gary Jack. He's lost it. Backwards. Picked up by Alexander. 
and uh, he'll play the ball back for Brad Mackay. Hasler wanted the job, but it's Mackay who's gone up to the halfway. New South Wales won't get many more throws at the dice. This is one of them. Miller now, eight metres into Queensland territory. Queensland have done a magnificent job under the circumstances, under the injury toll. And here's Bradley Clyde giving it out to Johns. He turns it inside for Clyde. That's a knock on there, I thought. Referee Manson going over to the touch judge, asking him for his uh, ruling on something that's happened back down the ground. Well, he's calling time out for an injury that's happened down the ground. He's asked the touch judge to mark the spot. Has he blown time out yet? Now he has. Time out, and they've called for a stretcher for Bob Linder. It's a look of dismay on the face of Brad Clyde. There's the official time, four minutes and 18 seconds remaining. Four minutes and 18 seconds for Queensland to wrap up the state of origin 2-0, or four minutes and 18 seconds for New South Wales to claw their way back into it. Whatever the result, whatever the result, it's been an enormous effort by both teams. One cannot overlook the injuries that Queensland suffered in the first half. Langer was first to go. Meninga then went. And then, of course, they've had player after player going to the ground and obviously not very well. This man down at the moment, Linda, is, is one of them. Paul Vorton was lost at half-time. And if you take Meninga, Langer and Vorton out of any team, they're bound to suffer. Hancock, of course, was also replaced during the second half. And he was having a strong game. Linda taken off on the stretcher. Queensland have used up all their replacements. So the Maroons are going to come down the home stretch with 12 men and New South Wales. Now Manson is waiting for the stretcher to go up. I thought he may have been going to rule a handover or a knock-on against Bradley Clyde. But now he's going time on, and it's away for Alexander on the last tackle. The ball has gone loose, been weak back by New South Wales, but the referee has now ruled that the ball went forward, and he's indicating a handover. 22 metres out from the Queensland line. They'll play it very close to the chest now, the Queensland team. Dummy half run, slow play the balls will be the order of the night. Coyne is down. The news is that Bob Linder has a broken fibula, a suspected broken fibula for Bob Linder. And of course, already they've got very grave doubts on Alan Langer and Mal Meninga. So it's been, if they win the match, and it seems they're going to, a very costly victory. Soaking up time as Walters plays the ball. Lewis now turns the blues around puts in the big kick, it bounces over for Gary Jack, three and a quarter minutes, three and a quarter, as Jack gets a pass away in frustration for Ferguson to clean up, Ferguson to play it back to Brad Mackay, they need to stretch the ball wide to take advantage of the fact that Queensland are one man down, that's what they're doing, there's a gap, and John's tried to go through it, he threw the desperate pass, he's given a penalty, Offside against Queensland. They must have got a touch on the ball. Then it came down to a player in an offside position. Yeah, we'll have to hurry now. We've got to move this ball. There's still a, an outside chance that we can get a, get a draw, but uh, time's running out. Two minutes 32 on the clock. Not much left now. So if they've got a favourite play, this is where they'll put it on. And this is Johns, who's played a very strong game for New South Wales. The first Bronco to represent the Blues. This is Maguire, held by Coyne and also by Hagen. Three metres into Queensland area. Alexander, out now for Cartwright. Cartwright pulled down by Miles. The ball has popped out and he's ruled a knock on. Cartwright... A very disappointed man. 
Here's the incident on replay. Miles makes the tackle. Yeah. And there's no question that it was given some assistance by Gene Miles. So a penalty should have been given, but we see a scrum go down one by Queensland. And it's Michael Hagan who's tackled. And this should be, well, the last set of six that Queensland will have the football for. Miles. Miller the tackler. Coyne. Walters has gone to dummy half. He's probably been one of the Queensland star performers, to my way of thinking. He won a scrum against the head, you might recall, a vital scrum. He scored a try that put Queensland into a, a winning position. And he's always been there or thereabouts, this little number nine from Queensland. And here he is again, working right down to the final siren. Cramp is starting to take over with some of these players as they get very tired. It's been a super game of football. Johns back into the field of play. That's the second time he's been required to do that tonight. Twice he's done it successfully. This is Gary Jack. 32 seconds of time remaining. It would need a miracle now. Back to, jo uh, to Jack. This is Alexander. He gets the pass away. It's loose on the ground. It's been uh, taken in by Queensland's Gene Miles, and they could even score a try themselves. Well, that's the price of desperation. They've, they've tried for the miracle uh, spread of the ball, and the uh, execution was a bit shoddy, and it's all over now. So just the last six seconds of the match to go. Sam Bacco plays the ball. It's gone away to Wally Lewis. Lewis taken over the touchline. The siren sounds in the background. Referee Manson says thank you very much there'll be no more queensland winning the second state of origin 16 points to 12.